Hi guys, for today's video I wanted to do another empties video. I know I haven't done one in quite a while so I thought it'd be a good time to do another one as you can see from the thumbnail that I have a big bag of MAC products or a big bag of products in my MAC bag of empties so let's just get started. So this first product is the Lime Splash Body Scrub. I believe this was in a gift pack that I got from Christmas, either this Christmas or the Christmas before that, so I figured it's probably about time to start using it up. Um, I probably won't repurchase this again. I don't even know if you can purchase this. Probably not because it was a Christmas pack. Um, it smelled good, but you know, it was alright. Not too much to say about this. So this next item that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I'll just show you the one. I really like this mascara. I probably won't buy it because it is expensive. That's what the brush looks like. So it's almost cone shaped and it gets uh, narrower towards the inner corner of your lashes. The only thing that I uh, didn't like about this was just I found, as you can see, uh, the mascara like to really uh, clump up on the end and so you kind of have to wipe it off or else your lashes would be really clumpy because there's just too much mascara being deposited onto your lashes. The next thing that I picked up is the Michael Todd True Organics Blue Green Algae Toner. I don't think that I really need to say much about this. I love this toner. It is, uh, it cleanses your skin really well. It takes off any like excess uh, residue or like makeup or from the from the day and it doesn't uh, sting or irritate your skin at all so I really like that. The next product that I picked up is the Raspberry Twist and this came in the same package as the body scrub. This is, sorry that was the scent, this is just shower gel. Um, it was alright, again definitely prefer Bath and Body Works over this but used it up, it was alright. So the next thing that I picked up is the Lancome Mascara. This is Hypnostrama. This is, oh gosh, this is one of my favorite mascaras of all time. It's just, there is mascara still in it, it just, I don't know, like the brush just gets too uh, packed with mascara on it and then your lashes just get really clumpy so it's like an S shaped wand and it just really gives your lashes length and volume. Absolutely love this mascara. Next thing that I picked up is another mascara. As you can see I went through tons of mascaras just because most of them are sample sizes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Again I'll show you the wand. I actually have this on my lashes right now. I bought another one of these. It's a very uh fluffy brush. This gives you nice length and volume. I wouldn't say as much as the Hypnose Drama, but I really like this. It makes your lashes really fluttery. So the next thing that I picked up is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil in Tranquil. Uh, again, I don't think I really need to say too much about this. I really like it for taking off makeup, especially uh, you know, liquid eyeliner and mascara, which tends to be a problem for me to take off. This one just takes it off, you know, in one easy step. So I really like that, and I purchased another one, of course. So next thing is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't actually like this. I found that my skin, you know, it kept, like, it didn't prevent any, like, uh, breakouts, so my skin actually was worse when I was using this. So I'm actually using, I want to say it's Garnier or something from the drugstore that I actually like better than this, and this was, like, $30, so I don't know. Some people really like this, but just for my skin type, I didn't like it. Next thing is something that I got out of my top box a long time ago. This is the B. Kamen's uh, Laboratories Brightening uh, Mask. It's kind of like a mud mask. I don't know if there's some still in there. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And you just kept this on for five or ten minutes and it kind of like dried and hardened on your skin and then you just wiped it off with a warm washcloth. Um, I didn't really see that it brightened your skin but it made your skin feel very deeply cleansed and it also had a little bit of menthol in it so it just felt really nice and tingly. Really like that. Next thing is a perfume sample. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. 
as you guys know if you've watched any of my other videos that I do have the full size version of this. I really like this perfume. It's very nice and light. Next thing is one of my holy grail items, the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Love this. It's just like a doe foot applicator. Again, I don't think I need to say too much about this and make sure uh, I make up pretty much uh, budge proof. Will not move until you take it off with the cleanse off oil. So next thing is a product that I hated the most is the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. I know this is just the um, sample size, but I just found this was very dry and it just dragged um, across your eyelid. It was really hard to apply and it actually crumbled off a lot of the times. I hated this from the get go, but I tried it like quite a few times, you know, because I was like, Benefit always makes good products. I've never really didn't been that disappointed in their products. But each time I tried, I just get frustrated and went back to my MAC fluid line. So I absolutely hated that. Unfortunately, I really wanted to like it. Yet another mascara, Too Faced Lash Gasm. This came in my Joy to the Girls palette. Finally used it up. This brush looks a lot different from the other ones. It's nice and skinny. I like this for your bottom lashes just because it can coat all the tiny lashes easy. But this one gives you a lot of uh, volume, or sorry, a lot of length. So I did like that. I do prefer the Lancome Hypnos Drama and the Too Faced Better Than Sex um, than the Lashgasm, but it was in, came in that palette, so I just used it up. By no means is it a bad mascara. I just prefer others. And the last, oh, there's one more in here. Second last thing is the Givenchy Very Irresistible um, Perfume Sample. Uh, this was all right. To be honest, I can't even remember what this smelled like. I want to say it was floral. Uh, that shows that I didn't really like it that much if I can't remember what it smells like. Now, last but not least, I know I'm kind of rushing through these, but I didn't really want to make this video super long and drag out. Again, pretty boring, another mascara. Benefit Bad Gal, this is a nice and big fluffy brush. It's very good for volume. I like this mascara a lot. That's what it looks like. I'm actually trying the two, or not the Too Faced, the Benefit They're Real, and I'm not sure if I'm liking it or not. It's definitely a lot different than the Bad Gal, so I guess we'll see, you know, after I try it a few more times if I do like it. So guys, that is it for my empties video. I believe this is my third or my fourth video. A lot of products here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know what you think about them. And if you have any uh, suggestions for any future videos for me to make that you guys would like to see, please let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.